Hey guys, welcome back to my journey. It's Brandy, and today I'm coming to you with a update on what's been going on. Okay, so in my last video, I've told you I was approved for um, surgery for December the 17th. Um, this coming Monday, I will be going to surgery for a gastric bypass. Um, so I got an appointment with my surgeon on December the 11th. So I had to go in and this was just um, a visit with him just to go over um, the procedure. So um, once I got there, I weighed in. So um, my initial weight when I first went there was 275. From 275 and today I have lost 21 pounds altogether with my pre-op diet and everything. 21 pounds. I am at 249. I am super excited about that. I'm feeling great. I'm just very excited. So, you know, I had to do a, I'm still on my um, two week diet, my, you know, my two week pre-op diet. Um, it's going okay. <laughs> it's going better. I'm not saying it's going okay. <laughs> the beginning. Okay. Let me say, um, yeah, it was hard. My husband sat, you know, I, my husband sat in bed that night. Um, it was my first pre-op pre -op day one. And he sat in the bed and ate some um, ice cream, um, some strawberry cheesecake ice cream. You know the one I've been telling you about? Yes, honey. He had another, a little, a little, a little pint. And honey, you do not understand how I wanted to hit, knock that. I wanted to knock <laughs> the ice cream pint out of his hand and lick the spoon just let me have a spoon can can i get the spoon can i can i lick the spoon <laughs> that's what i wanted to do so um it's been challenging um the first the second and the third day i'm telling you guys it was the hardest i was hungry um you know i I do still have a life. I, I just can't hide in my bedroom because I have kids I have to make breakfast for. So that was challenging. I'm not being able to eat no bacon, no bread, no sugar. You know, salt, it, you know, you don't appreciate it until you can't get it no more. That's how they say it. You don't appreciate that food until you can't get it no more. You be like, dang. But let me tell you, when I did, was able to eat some food, like a low calorie diet, I was happy to get it. That turkey sausage, I was happy to get that piece of turkey. I was happy. I was so happy. Turkey, hamburger meat, the turkey, uh, hamburger, ground meat. I'm talking about hamburger meat. Ground meat, so good. Lord have mercy. So um, I I found little ways to, you know, try to get by. Um, the fourth day, it was easier. And right now, it's like... It's like a breeze for me now, you know. I'm on day of 10 now, so it's like a breeze for me. I I'm fine, you know. I can cook breakfast. Like, I made a full-course breakfast for my family, like bacon, um, eggs, um, pancakes, biscuits, you know, that kind of stuff. And I didn't, like, give in. I didn't, you know, be like, oh, my God, I got to have some of this bacon. It smelled good, let me tell you. It smelled good. You know bacon smell good. Oh, Lord. But I didn't eat none. So, um, I, I've been on my pre-op diet, you know, I had to do two weeks. A lot of people are saying they only had liquid. Um, the only day I have to just drink liquid is the last day. That will be Sunday. Only liquid. I'll only get liquid. So, um, I'm trying to get my body ready for that. Um, so Saturday, um, I, that'll be my last day eating, uh, officially food itself. So I'm trying to get immensely ready for that. Um, back to um, back to going to see my surgeon. I'm rambling. I'm just like, I just got so much to tell y'all, and I'm just rambling. So okay, let's get back, Randy. So um, I was seeing my surgeon. Like I said, I lost 41 pounds, and it was due to um, doing really good on my pre-op diet. Um, so I'm super excited about that. And that day, he went over my whole chart. All the stuff I have did for my insurance, he looked over it. He made sure it was another girl in there. She was writing everything on a computer. Everything he said on that paper, she was writing on a computer. It was another lady in there, and she was telling me about taking my vitamins, making sure I sip, sip, sip. If I'm not hungry, do not eat. Do not force eat. 
Because you really, you ain't going to be eating. Don't force a drink yourself to them. <laughs> Do not. If you not hungry, don't. He's like, don't, don't, don't drink nothing. You're fine. You're fine. You know, just make sure you're just drinking a little bit. You know, it, it's fine. Your stomach is about this big, so it don't need that much. <laughs> so that went good. I was super excited about that. So I had to go down and I had to do um, pre-registration and I had to do pre-admission. So I couldn't do a day before my surgery because it's on Monday. So I had to do it that day. So pre-registration, it was just going over my address, um, signing paperwork, just getting um, registered to go into the hospital that day on the 17th. So that was, it was, I was fine with that. So pre, um, a mission, it was just going over your surgery. They, um, they, I had to do, uh, uh, I had to do blood work, like six tubes of blood. <laughs> I had to do that. Um, they had to do a pee sample. I had to do that. I was, thank God I didn't go to the bathroom because I had, I was in the tie. I was like, well, let me just wait and just see because you, you never know. You never know. <laughs> so I'm glad I did that. Um, they also gave me this little, um, let me see if y'all can see it. It's this surgical scrub and the surgical, the surgical scrub is for the night before to take a bath in the morning of surgery you'll just um wash your body um not you know here your this area or your private area you'll just wash over everything else you know especially your stomach um and it's just a scrub to get you ready for surgery that day um and and that was pre-admission um so I'm pretty much done and, you know, my eyes are crossed, my T's are slanted, <laughs> slanted, dot, <laughs> because once um, Monday comes, I'll just go into um, surgery, you know, so I'm super excited I got that done, I'm just super excited, um, I, I'm, you know, I've been waiting for this moment for over two years because I've had insurance problems and all kind of problems. And now it is really happening and it's sinking in. And I am so excited. Um, my mind has, my mind is made up that this is my journey and I'm going to take full, full I'm going to take it on full and i'm gonna make sure i lose the weight that i need to lose because i'm just ready um i've already lost 21 pounds so you can see it so i'm just super excited it can't go but up now um i'm definitely you know coping with the anesthesia that part in my last video um i was you know super worried about that but now it's like i one of the girls on instagram and she was like with you know your busy life and your children it's just a time that you can just get your anesthesia and you can have a deep sleep relax and have a deep sleep <laughs> and i was like you know what yeah that is kind of true that is kind of true you know i get some sleep because you know i need some rest for an hour too <laughs> an hour without nobody worrying you <laughs> you know you need some of that sometimes so uh, you know, I'm keep I'm keeping a positive um my 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 surgeon said definitely stay positive about this. Um I know in my heart and my mind I have the strength to do this and do it with success. Um I don't want to talk too much and ramble. I'm just super excited. I am going to do a video the day of surgery, let you guys know what's going on, step back step. I'm going to try to get as much as I can. I'm going to get my husband to start taping when I get out of surgery. So do not, do not miss it because Monday is my surgery on December the 17th. So you stay tuned because I'm going to be uploading them in the room, walking around in the room or whatever. I'm going to be uploading them. <laughs> up in the hospital uploading youtube videos so stay tuned i love you guys thank you for all the subscribers good luck if you guys are going through surgery good luck i pray that you have a speedy recovery i love you bye guys